So topic number three, should cartoon characters be canceled? And the reason why this came up is because what, uh, what is it? What's the, 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 is it the skunk or whatever? Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le yeah. Pow. Pepe Le, Pepe something. Pepe Le Skunk. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, he was aggressive. I'm not gonna lie. He really was aggressive. Or uh, he was just more, is it what we consider it aggressive or just like because he kind of gave me, you know, I shared y'all behind the scenes. I shared y'all the link with the Nikki Parker. He kind of gave me Nikki Parker feels like she wanted Professor Okavy and he wanted the other. Well, it was a cat, right? It wasn't even a real skunk that he was. Wasn't it a cat? I believe it was a girl skunk. I thought it was like a cat. I think there was an episode where he mistaked a cat for a skunk or something like that, or a cat was trying to trick him or something. Okay, well, how do y'all feel about canceling the? How do you feel about the cancel culture? Period. And then now that it's gone as far as to cartoon characters, not even real people, but cartoon characters. Um, I feel like cancel culture started out as like a no volume. Is your is your um, microphone covered? I don't know, maybe. Okay, I can hear you not good. Okay. Yeah, I feel, I feel like cancel culture uh, kind of started out as a way to like, okay, we're going to make sure like we can eliminate people who mean us no, no good or that's detrimental to the culture. But I feel like as time went by, like it's getting ridiculous. You know, people just want to cancel yeah. people just because they have a difference of opinion or cancel people just because they think differently than them. And, you know, it's just really getting to be too much. However, I do feel like, you know, when it comes to like kind of like the cartoon thing or just like other things going on like that, I feel like it's it's great that they're redefining some roles and becoming aware of certain like unconscious bias or different things that, you know, may have happened or may have been portrayed um, I feel like it's good that they're, you know, acknowledging that and trying to make it better. Um, but I just don't agree with just, you know, counseling people just because they have a difference of opinion or they don't think like you do or something like that. And I feel like that's a lot of, of where the council culture comes from. It's not because they did something that's so detrimental that it's just like, okay, we can clearly see they don't support the culture. Some of it is just like, I don't think the way you think and now I'm canceled. But I mean, I don't really take council culture seriously, like... You don't take mean, it serious. How, how can you not take it serious when it's like people's livelihoods are like at risk here? Well, I mean, I, I, mean, I, like, I don't, personally don't. Yeah, like, I personally don't take it seriously because it's like people will cancel somebody and then next week they'll be team Kanye. Like Kanye canceled, but now nah, this week everybody team Kanye or such and such cancel was supposed to be canceled, but you know, somehow they are uncounseled. You know, like it, I don't take it seriously in that sense. Like it's just like, you, the people are just counseling people and things just to counsel it, but then they'll turn around and still support it the next month or when it whenever the controversy has died down, then it's like, okay, whenever like we're not trying to cancel people when it's not right. trying anymore to cancel that person, they move on to yeah, the next one. yeah, or they do something that's one thing that's good. Um, I don't know how you know everybody feels about Trey Songs or whatever, but you remember when Kiki Palmer had that incident with Trey Songs, and I remember. you know the, everybody the was like, like, "Oh no, Trey canceled!" Like you know, how can he let this happen and put Kiki in that situation and all that other stuff? And then like just recently, the whole oh, who, was it a video? Up? Or Wait a minute, hold up. I, they didn't cancel Trey. You mean like when she said that he had her in the closet, like she, she was so scared she was in the closet hiding yeah. from him? Yeah. They didn't cancel him I then. The, I, heard, I heard it from both sides. I heard more flack towards Kiki and everything else yeah, like it that. Was. He did a he did an interview on the Breakfast Club after it, after that talking about she got she got my number. She could have just called me. And everyone was holding on to that one statement. To where to it sounded like to me because I, I heard more complaints about Kiki, but everyone was holding on to that statement um, for their fight for Trey Song. Like they're like, exactly, she should have handled this behind doors. Um, what's it called? But I mean, Kiki's my girl. I, 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 know I, know feel. I know for me, like the people that I'm friends with, the people that I follow were pretty much Team Kiki. Like, um, you know, when the situation happened, but I just use that as an example because it could be something like that that happens. And all of a sudden, you know, something 
drops or whatever now it's like everybody forgot about the person that they canceled or like just say for Kanye for their whatever reason if you're team Kanye not team Kanye like everybody's like oh he canceled and you know he did this and oh he canceled when he made that whole comment the slave comment everybody's like oh you know he just off the whatever but if he drop a new project and drops on the music not that he can't still be a great artist but it's just like oh you know people are still gonna be talking about it they're gonna be downloading the music they're gonna be streaming all of these things and even like still talking highly of him even if it's in like the artist aspect it's just like so where does the cancel culture stop like when you cancel somebody is it just like oh are we just canceling them right now and if they do good and do right then we can welcome them back like that's what i don't get about the cancel culture yeah it because even back even going like with kevin hart remember when they canceled well tried to cancel kevin hart yeah when, um when they when he not first did comedy because he'd been doing comedy, but when he really got popular and then people started, I think it was last year. I mean, I think it was last year. I maybe the year 2019, but um, somebody went back or whatever and then pulled up his, his like the real popular uh, comedy special. Um, and he was talking about his son. He was like, if his son was gay, he'd like uh, do something to him. Like, no, uh -uh, mm -hmm. quit. It was funny. Like the shit was funny. And he's a comedian. And like, you can't even, and then a lot of people were saying, if comedians can't make us laugh with real life content, then what is there left to have? Oh yeah, because like, trust seriously. me, if comedy was like how it was back then, like they was really um, making jokes and making fun of stuff that people would really look at them side eye. Now like, they couldn't, these comedians probably couldn't say half the stuff they used to back in the day now. Because they couldn't. Like, yeah, there's there's some good. there's some that's um like um uh, one guy like I like he's real I guess it, you would say raunchy but Andrew Schultz like it's a uh a white guy who hangs with uh Charlemagne they got a they on a podcast the great idiots uh whatever mm -hmm. but he he don't give a damn he don't care he says yeah it. yeah so it's just like you know I don't know like sometimes like I said I feel like it started out as a way to kind of like protect the culture. But after a while, I feel like it got into people just want to counsel people just because they did something that somebody didn't like or they had a different opinion or they supported one person or they were seen with this one person and now all of a sudden they counsel just because of this one thing. Not because they did anything detrimental. It's just because we didn't like what they said or we didn't like what they did or who they supported, you know? So, I mean, and I, really I mean, don't even think of it. And like you were saying, like, especially if it's like a like, person who's like really big they don't really get canceled anyway it's like there's really no point in saying that you're going to cancel it. It, although beyonce. it has worked how you going to cancel beyonce <laughs> you can't because me, me i'm not going to let anybody cancel beyonce by myself <laughs> so. no i'm just saying not that she's canceled but i'm saying when courtney was like that's like having somebody like with a big name like how you going to cancel beyonce it's, right you can't do nothing if you work her. for somebody uh smaller i forgot her name but she's like she's one of those like indie alternative R&B type of people. Like it's a I black girl. Think. No, it was a Spanish girl, and they went back on her Twitter, and apparently like she was making fun of like dark skin or something, like calling people monkeys and stuff like that. And then like she had said the N word a few times. And oh, it shit, well, Cardi B did it. She was calling girls roaches. Cardi B is on a different caliber than this girl that I'm talking about. They tried, but they tried. But see, and then that whole thing, that whole thing with Cardi B, like when they were saying that she had called. See, this is my thing. I don't, I don't understand why we accept some of these things. Like, okay, so let's say Cardi B and this black woman got into an altercation. They was not altercation. They got into an argument or whatever, exchanged words on social media, whatever the case may be, and she called the girl a roach. Let's say she just called the girl or her girl and the girl and her homegirls roaches. How did that become roaches is now the the, uh, the statement for yeah, black the, yeah for black women? Like I would not associate. Like when do we become associated with roaches? I mean, just because the person that she was arguing with, with was a black woman, like I don't just to play just to play devil's advocate. I just. Me personally, what I would counter that with is that when normally when you hear two people insulting each other, you don't hear people calling people roaches. I've never heard an <laughs> argument between people where they'd be like, "You fucking roach!" Like, I never oh, <laughs> you know what? You know what? I just well, you know, when I had custody of my little cousin, 
they was calling each other roaches. <laughs> but but that was she's like born in what 2004. So they was calling each other roach, but they was like, What's up, roach? What was your point? What was your point in saying? My, my point was like when you were like, um, what does now roach mean like you know, yeah, that meaning for dark skin, like why does Rose with the dark skin women? I'm saying like that would be my point because like, like Ashley said, like she heard it, she heard people saying Rose and also like that. But when I think of like people arguing, Rose is not something that comes up in my head when I picture like the people that I've heard argue or people I saw that were you know were about to fight and all that stuff like that. So that was my point. That would be what I would argue with that. Like, I'm not saying that 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 has saying, to mean like, what she. Means. Yeah, like, I guess you're saying like, okay, you call me a roach because you're saying it's because of like how I look, like I'm like a roach. I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I think that's what the girl because when you think of roach, yeah. you think of dark night, you, whatever. But oh, so I what mean, was, you do have a point. Why does when did roach equate to black women or dark skinned people in general? Yeah, and I feel like I pe people kind of use that against her, like they wanted to amplify that. I don't know if y'all know, I'm Team Cardi B, Barb yeah, Gang, yeah. but. <laughs> So I, I feel like people really like use that to hold like amplify like oh yeah she's against like they really try to put her against like oh it's Cardi B versus black women just because she called this girl a roach like I mean I, I get it I get like kind of what Courtney is saying how they could be like okay well I mean that ain't something like normal you just calling somebody a bitch or something like that like you saying she's a roach like where did that come from but I still don't understand like how now that is like a a derogatory term towards black women and I, and I think we can kind of like i think people try to slide things in there we were speaking with that because let's you let's go with the roach analogy and let's go with a monkey analogy no we, we haven't heard many black people be associated or affiliated with being called a roach so we'd be like a roach what the fuck wait boy get out of here you know girl get out of here but when you hear oh you look like a monkey a monkey like that's a monkey because we've heard that yeah, before right yeah you know, that, that, you that would something like that you know? then i would have been like okay yeah. now i can understand now <laughs> right um okay so courtney would you like Cardi to add B is a, uh, hispanic though isn't she does she have Dominican. Dominican. I think that's where the word roach comes from because that's from being from Connecticut. I used to live in a neighborhood where there's nothing but blacks and Puerto Ricans and blacks and Hispanics, period. That was a derogatory term for Hispanic people because of how they live. So, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, like, you know, if you catch, you know, it basically it's really for like Mexicans. You catch Mexicans and they're all in the same house. Mm -hmm. So they kind of like stay together and things. Like so a lot of people refer to them. As roaches. Yeah. 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 Okay, see now so I like mean that. I get it. I get it. I don't know what y'all were talking about. I I just came in on listen to what he said. They stay together in the same house, roach. Like what that ain't even the definition of a roach. I get it's what you're saying. But you get it. Like literally, <laughs> if you turn in some of the projects, you turn the house on, you turn the light on, you know, there's right. about fifty million roaches yeah. in different directions. So I don't know what y'all was talking about. I just came in on that part. Well, welcome, Daniel. We glad hey, y'all. Okay, and so Daniel's just coming in, and Miss Courtney has to exit out. So this was perfect timing, you know. Um, really so to you, but you just leaving us to hell. Huh? <laughs> no, she exit out. Well, you got stuff she got to do. I said you really got to leave, but you just try to have us hanging because <laughs> you don't want to see yourself on the <laughs> I'm gonna be really relieved when I turn this camera on. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm with the rest. So Daniel, high five me so we can tag team. You know, oh, so you right here? no. Oh because <laughs> no. you said to stay right. on. <laughs> well, I'll see a smooth transition. All right, back court. Bye, guys. Bye. See y'all next time. Right. Okay, Still so fired. Daniel, what's, what's your opinion on uh, canceling Cardi? First off, the cancel culture period, and then now that it's gotten so far as the canceling cartoon character. Um, the cancel culture period, some of it is justified. You know what I'm saying? Well, I won't say justified. I just feel like some of it, I, most of it, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Um. But you, there's a there's a limit. Sometimes you just go too far, and I feel like canceling. You talk about Pepe, right? Pepe Le Pew. Yeah, the, like yeah. I I I get what you're saying, but at the same time, it's a cartoon character. You can literally change what he or she does. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like it should be, it should have to be canceled totally. Like, they're totally exiting him out of the new Space Jam movie. Totally exiting him out of it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, this is a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like, and, and this might go, I might get crucified for this, but people just need to stop being so sensitive. No, because a lot of people are sensitive. It's just sensitive yeah. as like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody say the wrong thing, and some, or or uh, I think I heard Whitney say uh, when I got on the live, um, just because you disagree with it, you know what I'm saying? You ready to cancel something because you disagree with it? You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's you sensitive. I'm sorry. And it's, it's so be crazy saying. because that's an animated our cartoon character, and like you said, they all they got to do is rewrite the script. All you got to do is rewrite it. But yet they are, and I've heard read because i'm a comment reader like i love reading people comments and opinions and stuff when i see articles and so uh i saw what he was like oh so you'll cancel what this character is doing but yet you're you're currently writing in uh homosexual characters like guys that's kissing on each other women that's kissing on each other like so you don't want to prevent our children from going that route and i was like this the, simple, crazy. the simple fact is this this is my thing this is my thing and i i actually did, i actually shared um the the post that you sent me i shared uh nikki parker's picture and i said she gives just as much rape culture as pepe Le Pew. if you really want to be honest you know what i'm saying but she ain't canceled i know the show is canceled but like you get what i'm saying why are we splitting hairs at this point and, you know i mean and you're right she was the actual real life Stalker, she broke in this man. She had it was written that she broke in this man's house. Nikki Parker, Parker, the Parkers. Parkers. She broke in this man's house. She has groped this man publicly. If you really want to be sensitive about it, she has put like she has literally forced herself on this man. Like, and he was visibly like, No, this is not what I want. At is that not right, Coach? It is. I mean, it is. So I'm like, and we just and we laughed at it. And like and it's kind of like that we and we laughed at it. It was comedy for us. If you, I mean, like now that we're, is this considered woke? Or like, is this conversation like a woke? Com you, you know what I mean? Like, is this a woke conversation? So now that we're discussing it and we're older now, because we grew up on watching that show, it was funny. You know, it was funny, like her chasing him around the table and 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 sneaking in his bedroom at night and him waking up and he, she already cooked breakfast, you know, and we just like, oh, she's so crazy. It, I mean, now it's like, oh no, that was too much. That's, it's, it's rape culture. It, it, it really that's, is. Uh, and I, that's just what I don't understand about it. I mean, like, like I said, some of it I get when it comes to cancellation, but like, you know, it, it's starting to go too far now to me. You know what I'm saying? I happen to love Pepe Le Pew as a character. It's probably the reason why um, I feel the way I feel. But I'm like, like, come on, bro. Like, seriously? Like, the man just wanted to love the cat. <laughs> like, you really, you really... See, so it was a cat. I knew it was a freaking cat. It was but a cat. It, he so just thought it was like a skunk. He thought the it was cat was, was black and white. Right, okay. So that's the reason why he thought that it was another skunk. And if I'm not mistaken, the cat was even a boy. If I'm not mistaken, he just thought it was. I don't even think the cat was a girl. I don't think. I could be wrong. I gotta watch the episode. But like, that's and then what I, I also made me watch episode. Yeah, yeah, I need to watch the episode. And then also like Helga. I think we kind of discussed Helga one time up here about how you know aggressive she was. Well, she was a bully to like uh, Arnold. Well, you know, on know. Hey Arnold. That was normal though. That was normal. Yeah, was and the reason why I say that was normal because I got like... bullied by girls that claimed they had a crush on me in the future. It was like I only was mean to you because I like to. And I'm I like, like if you're going to dissect things, like, you're really going to have to dissect everything. Like, everything. Some, I mean, some things is just a part of, like, growing up. Like, some kids don't know how to express, I like you, or I want to play with you, or I want us to go to the park together. Like, I mean, of course, I feel like they learned that from some place, like, you know. But at the same time, like, some things are just a part of, of you growing and, and learning more about how to do things and how to handle certain things. So I feel like if you dissect everything that we that that's been portrayed either like on, on TV or in movies or shows, like we really gonna have to cancel everything, you know. Everything. It's, it, we're gonna have people, to, you know what? We're gonna have to don't don't be offended. People are gonna be offended by anything. Like 
So it's like, I feel like people can take somebody flirting and saying, oh, putting it in rape culture. You know what I mean? Like people can really like take a situation where it's just like somebody showing that they're persistent and trying to get to know this person or, you know, whatever they're being flirtatious. Cause I feel like even now it's just like, even it's almost kind of like people don't really know how to show like be flirtatious. Cause if you're like, when does it cross the line of flirtatious? Like, cause people like to flirt with each other. Like they flirt, like that's the thing. But it's like, where does it go from flirtation to, to sexual harassment? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, so it's, it's those things where it's just kind of like, you gotta figure out like what it is and what it ain't. So it's just, like, I feel like somewhere oh, down the line, somebody person, is, out, yeah, somebody is always going to be like offended about something. I, t- I tell you this right here. You make so much sense uh, because I think it, we are going to have to like hit the reset button um, and start over and unlearn what we thought we knew with this new society and new gener- you know, new everything. Uh, like going on a date, right? Um, dates at the end of the night, if you had a good time, spontaneously, kisses are supposed to be spont- like a magical moment, right? Like it, it's like a vibe of energy. Like if it happens, it happens, you know? Right. If you want to lean in and get a hug or you want to lean in and get a kiss. Like now it's to the fact where you'd be like, is it okay if I kiss you? And you'd be like, did this just ruin the moment? Like, like, yeah. like I, do I, something. I you said that, Ashley, because I was just thinking about that the other day. It's just like, I feel, and I was just thinking like from the perspective of a guy. Right, right. You right. know, not saying that things like, of course, like with sexual harassment and rape culture, like those things are real. And women have been dealing with that at a young age, mm-hmm. um, you know, as far as like sexual harassment. But I kind of feel bad for for guys because it's it's I like I feel like they always are gonna feel like they have to ask for permission for everything. To do like anything. Almost, that's literally almost, how I feel as a man. That's yeah. literally how I feel. Like yeah, I literally like went on said, a, Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, and I was like, like Ashley said, like it's supposed to be like it kind of takes away from being spontaneous and letting mm-hmm. the spark like naturally happen because you're always thinking like, is it okay? Like, you know, it's kind of weird, like, is it okay if I kiss you it and it, it doesn't normally happen that way like people will say oh you you better ask for consent for like if, if when you're yeah. adults and it doesn't happen that way like you're not every little single move you make you're not gonna ask the person is it okay if i put my hand here is it okay if i kiss you is it okay like now I, well i can say maybe not the whole kiss you part because i feel like you know if the vibe ain't right and you just going in like that's you just setting yourself up for disaster like certain things <laughs> i can understand but if all of your moves have to be calculated i feel like guys kind of feel like pressured about that and like daniel said like he already expressed like that's uh, i literally to- i literally went on a date and this was a couple months ago literally went on a date and it was like to the point where because of that i i almost didn't want to it almost felt like I was seeming disinterested because I was afraid to even, not afraid, but I was nervous about doing or saying anything. You know what I'm saying? As far as physical or stuff. So I literally did what you asked. As I said, like, can I kiss you? Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> because like, I felt like, for you know what I'm saying? It was, I felt like if I would have leaned in and the last thing I want is for anybody to feel uncomfortable. That's right, my point. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I asked because I didn't want nobody to feel uncomfortable. I didn't want her to feel uncomfortable. Because the problem is, a lot of times a man will lean in or whatever, and the girl don't want to kiss him, but she don't want to seem like a B-word, or she doesn't want to seem yeah. like an A-hole, so she kisses him back. Yeah, me. And yeah. then and then it's like, oh, I'm good now. Like, you know, we can make some moves, and it's like, okay, chill. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's how that that's what just I don't want nobody to feel uncomfortable. So in today's society, you can barely say anything without somebody like like Whitney said, without somebody feeling uncomfortable, being offended. So that just it just for me, it just brings my anxiety up when it comes to talking to the fair sex. Cause it's like, I don't I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> you well, know what nice. I'm saying? You gotta initiate it. You wanna hump, you gotta initiate it. <laughs> I ain't even I ain't even gonna ask you. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'll tell you one thing pertaining to that. Like, uh, I jokingly said it, but I was serious also at the same time. Like, I don't know what's up with guys and foot fetishes. Maybe I'm just getting hip to it, you know, about guys and feet. That's but, uh, yeah, it is. Oh, it most definitely is. Because I, I said, I told one guy, 
I jokingly said it, but I was for real. I was, I was like, I didn't give, give you permission to touch my feet. Like I didn't, you know, cause so many guys like now it is so weird. Like, you know how when you meet somebody, they be like, oh, send me, you know, a picture from my phone. Like, so when you call, you know, your picture pops up. Yeah. Now they ask you for feet pictures too. And I'm like, who does that? That's a little like, far. Yeah, no, but it's it's a real thing. Like people are really asking for feet pictures. A Don't get me wrong. I love me some pretty feet. I love me some pretty feet. I love. I enjoy giving foot massages on pretty feet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's stressing yeah. that. Because the thing, nah, because like some people, they have foot fetishes to the point where it don't matter what your foot look like. Okay. Like for me, no, nah, like I ain't, you got, if it's tor- terrible, I ain't touching your feet. But I do, I do enjoy some pretty feet and some like stiletto heels or something like that. That's right. definitely a, uh, a well, I, I, I tell you one thing about the, uh, the cancel culture, um, you know when the R. Kelly, when those surviving R. Kelly documentaries that came out, uh, mm. I was I was happy to kind of like know more knowledge about it because I, I I remember a long time ago I was like I ain't listen. like I don't even listen to R. Kelly like it, period and like when when it comes on like my Pandora station or something like I always like skip it or whatever but now it doesn't play it because I don't dislike it so many times. This is what I'm struggling with, and I should and I. I, I don't struggle. And it kind of goes back to what Whitney was saying earlier about uh, sometimes it's so big and then sometimes who do you cancel or mm-hmm. the next day. So when it came out that Bootsy, Lil Bootsy, uh, paid a an adult woman mm-hmm. to give his son um, oral sex, he was, what, 14 at the time and she was clearly over 18. Right. So that is some rape culture shit. And so they was like, so are we canceling Bootsy now? And he should have been incarcerated, like locked up. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, I guess people do have favoritism. It's got to be, man. It's got to be that. And I mean, if you kind of look at it too, like if you look at Michael Jackson, you know, I feel like, I mean, not necessarily comparing the two, but kind of comparing the two, Michael Jackson and, you know, his the allegations against him with sleeping with young right. boys. And to this day, you won't, I mean, when people talk about Michael Jackson, they're talking about Michael Jackson being the greatest. They're talking about him as an artist. Even though people are very aware, people in our community are very aware, aware of the allegations against him and what, what, what transpired or what people have alleged transpired at Neverland or whatever the case may be. Right. It's just like Michael is one of those artists that's on the top level. Like you're not going to hear people try to cancel Michael Jackson because he's the greatest artist he's the greatest musician he's the greatest whatever but i mean not saying that r kelly doesn't have as not on the level because i definitely believe that as an artist r kelly talented. is that guy he's very talented but it's easier to to cancel somebody like that and I, it's just like he kind of he he had the same i mean like, yeah mm-hmm. and, you same know what reputation. I mean? yeah. yeah and so it's just like what yeah. what what stops people from saying cancel michael versus cancel r kelly like I mean, and, and it's funny. It's funny because the same people that wanted wanted to cancel, say R. Kelly, or wanted to, they probably even felt some type of way about Michael. The same ones that voted for a president that's been claiming to grab a woman by her private part. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or who who still has outstanding sexual allegations against him right now? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So right. like, it's I think it's just like you said, it's just the favoritism. Like, okay, well, we don't, we can, we can go without Pepper Le Pew. But let, let Bugs Bunny have Rachel Coulter. Everybody's going to be like, no, we can't cancel him. You know what I'm saying? As an yeah. example. It's just favoritism, man. Yeah, uh, really uh, I think they would let Bugs Bunny go. I That's think what I'm if, saying. Yeah, like. They would I, let him I mean, slide. I mean, maybe if he was, Barney, Dora the Explorer. Like, let's say she was molesting that monkey. Like, it. <laughs> that monkey could come out. That monkey could come tell his story. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, if we, like if we wanna like if they wanna cancel truth. that, then let's say the monkey comes out and be like, uh, you know, but behind the scenes, yeah, like it, but it, I, it's just, certain people like they'll let it go. Like it just depends on your level of fame and your level that you put yourself on. If people are gonna there's like I said, there's no canceling people that are at a certain level. Like you can't cancel Beyonce, like how you gonna cancel Beyonce? Absolutely. You ain't gonna cancel Michael Jackson. I mean, even though he's no longer here, how you gonna cancel Michael Jackson? Absolutely. And that's kind of sort of too. I mean, I don't know. It might be kind of twofold with Kobe about the whole rape allegations and stuff like that. Like, 
I mean, it happened or it didn't happen or whatever the case may be. Like nobody is canceling Kobe. Like Kobe's not canceled. He's as much essential to the, or, to the organization and culture now as he was then. You know what I mean? So it's just like even though, and it's crazy because like we know those things happen. It's just like even at some point they were just allegations or they were you know, thrown out or whatever the case may be, it's just like people are still going to hold on to what they believe is true. They believe this happened, they're going to hold it there. Or they didn't just, believe it, you know? My thing is like, and I just thought about it as, as you were saying that, Whitney, I, I just don't, I don't get the cartoon characters just for the simple fact that if you're going to cancel anybody, why not cancel the writers? Why not cancel yeah. the creators? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, it's a cartoon. I, I and the only reason why I thought about that is because, like, okay, there's literally. Don't get me wrong. I love Family Guy. Is it, I I watch Family Guy religiously. Family Guy. But so but the thing is, like, you literally have a sex addict who Where's borderline my... yes, who borderline borderline roofies women, what? and then you have the old man that's still been trying to get the little boys. You know what I'm saying? Why why isn't Seth McFarlane canceled? That's who really that's what I was gonna say. I, when you first said that, yeah. I was like, is canceling the creator or the writer, is that taking it a little too far as well? Because now that's gonna prevent people from thinking. But then also at the same time, you gotta kind of deep dive into that and be like, what's going on? Let's open up an investigation about this guy anyway. Cause why is he writing these sick, twisted characters? Because I'm like, and, and it's and not just Seth McFarlane. I mean, he created not, it, but it's the writers, <laughs> period. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole team. There's, there's like a team of like 25 people that write for like, Right. So who who comes sit down to the writer's table and say, all right, right. let's come up with, okay, we want a pervert. We want a racist. We want an Indian. Like who? But I understand that these, you know what? These people do exist. So uh, these people do exist in real don't. life. I just I mean, don't like, understand. Look at that. You can read the news and, and, and come up with something. My thing is like, yeah. it's just so, because I don't want creators to stop creating. I don't want creators to, to stop with the content. Me neither. It's like comedians and things like that. Because I know I draw a lot of things from, not, not necessarily me personally, but I'll put a little sprinkle, whatever on it. Like when I scroll on my timeline, I see somebody say something, I'll be like, uh, and then I'll post the status or whatever, but I add a little extra to it. So I don't want to like penalize creators for creating things, you know. I don't know. It's just it's a lot. <laughs> it's just a lot. Like, it's a cartoon. Like it's not like I can understand if these if this was a reality show or this was something like real and a person had already had that persona or already were was like that character. But like Daniel said, these are literally uh characters that they created. Like even if it was a, a person, let's say if it was a, a racist character, like that was known in a show or in a cartoon, like you could literally rewrite the new script and make him not racist anymore or make her sure. not racist anymore. Like that's all on you. Like you control what we see as far as the content. So I mean, but, even and, but and, and even in the same sense as what you're saying, like what also bothers me is like, okay, um, this is kind of different, but it's it's in the same principle. Uh, somebody, a lot of people are mad at Cardi B for the music that she makes. Okay, mm -hmm. and Cardi B was interviewed and she was talking about that, and she said a, she made a very good point. She said, "I don't make music for children. Yep, sure. I make music for adults." And sure. it's the same people that are mad at Cardi B that's probably mad about Pebble Pew. And I'm just like, okay, if you feel uncomfortable, my father did not let me or my brother watch anything that he deemed uncomfortable for us. So that's the reason why we were ignorant to those certain things until we got older. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not always, it, 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 this is life. This is things that have rape culture happens in real life. Things like that have perverts are out there in real life talking about mm -hmm. quiet murder. This is real life. So people trying to write what they see, it's not mm -hmm. necessarily their fault for writing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, Family Guy makes a joke out of it, but like, I'm thinking, like, say, for instance, in the, SVU, what you um, one of my favorite shows, Law & Order. Yeah. It's based on real events, but it would be difficult for somebody who has dealt with, a, like, who was a special victim to see something like that. They might see an episode that pertains to their life. Yeah. So now if they're, if they're offended by that and they, they raise Cain about it, now they, they got to be canceled because that happened to you. Just don't watch it. Turn it off. 
Turn it up. Turn it to the channel. Put parental controls on your kids' TV. Put parental controls on your kids' phones. You get what I'm saying? Everybody shouldn't be canceled for for being we we grown. That's just how I feel. For doing for doing your job, like right, like you suck as a mom and a dad, (laughs) and they be like, "How dare you?" You know, like start taking control, like start having your children overrule you, like that's. Like, like honestly, I get anxiety when I see kids with smart with phones and tablets and stuff. I'm like, why do y'all give y'all kids these devices? I understand for educational purposes, but when you just giving it to them and then you walking away, I know it's just more of a go ahead and go do something with yourself. You like why mommy over here doing this or whatever? But I just be so nervous because I've experienced, I've had been around where. It's real, like sexual sexual stuff with kids and people that know y'all, like family and know the family, friends of the family. That shit is real. Like yeah. they go home and and Facebook your little cousin or your sister. Your, like it's just I I can't do it. Like so I feel like if y'all are gonna give y'all kids uh, these electronic devices, monitor them shit. And it's too easy not to. Like, there's literally apps out there that you can monitor what they have on their phones, on your phone. You don't even need to see their phone. You don't need to bring their phone up. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's just, there's ways. I I just don't feel like, you know, to me, what what I just thought about just makes cancel culture, some cancer culture, when it comes to film and television and cartoons, invalid. Because you're mad about something. Just because something is not going your way or stuff is not beat to your own drum, like you're not the only person in the world with the one view. Everybody doesn't have that one view that you have or feel the exact same way as you. So you can't yeah. expect TV and whatever to like only show what G-rated you G-rated stuff. Yeah, like what you believe. Because I mean, everybody's watching TV. You got toddlers watching TV. You got teenagers watching TV. You got adults watching tv you got senior yep. citizens watching tv people who are disabled watching tv people who are pedophiles that's watching tv like you got not saying that tv should be catered to everybody but i'm just saying like there's so many like dynamics of people like it's bound where you're gonna have those instances where you have those shows that you know took something and maybe made it into something that was comedy but right. What, that Everybody has a target on audience. Yeah, Every show has what, a target audience. Mm-hmm. What was funny to you may not be funny to me, but right. the people that I'm trying to draw in, they're going to think this is comedy. The people that I want to look at my show or listen to my music, they're going to like this. Like even the example you uh, mentioned about Cardi B, when she said she doesn't make uh, music for children. That's another thing where she said, like, um, you know, the music that I make is music that people want to listen to. Yeah, y'all mm-hmm. are telling me y'all want me to, to make songs where I'm talking about of uplifting women and doing all of these things. And every now and then, you can hear artists play around with that. They'll, throw, they'll drop something out there, and you know what happens? It doesn't get any pull to it. No. Nobody wanted to listen no. to that. That doesn't take off. But let an no. artist say something about, like, some sexually explicit things or whatever the case may be, that's the stuff that's going to take off. So as an artist, you want me to make music it sells. That people gotta, are not gonna sell listen what to? sells, right? Yeah. yeah they, they Why do you think conscious that? rappers, conscious rappers, and conscious artists they're they're not as big as mainstream artists? Mm-hmm. Like you got you got the J Cole's in the in the in the well, he's kind of an exception, but you, or the Kendrick's kind of an exception. Yeah, but there's other yeah. Conscious, there's there's other conscious rap uh, raptors. Oh my god, rappers. <laughs> um, yeah. That that have they're fire. They're they're so fire, but they're not talking about. You know, calling women all these b words and shaking booty and all of this—they're actually talking about something, but they're not buzzing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We, I got to the, people that, the people that say they want that. The people that they say they want artists to not talk about that, and they want people to be more uplifting. It's so many artists out there that are like that, but they yeah. don't support that. You want to no. say so much about Cardi B and what she's doing when there's mm-hmm. so many other artists, and even when Cardi B, when everybody was coming at her. She literally went on her Instagram and was like, you know, if y'all don't like the music that I'm making, like, follow these dope artists yep. who are conscious yep. and right. are talking about things. She named, like, a lot of dope uh, artists like Tierra Wag, Rhapsody, a whole bunch of artists. She's like, okay, if y'all don't really like what I'm talking about and it's too explicit for y'all, follow these other artists. But nobody is following them. They all And the funny thing is, you want to support somebody. But you still, you, you won't realize that talking about Cardi B in a negative way is still getting her paid. Mm-hmm. Because the simple fact is, 
if I never if if I never heard Cardi B's music and say Whitney didn't didn't appreciate it, you listen to it. That's a stream. You know yep. what I'm saying? So the, let 50 million people not like her music. They don't like her music because they listen to her music. Mm-hmm. And now you're and going on live it. and like, oh my gosh, I can't with Cardi B and her nastiness. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm going to want to go see what Cardi B talking about. Because you yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yep. you know, yep. it and free publicity, like you promoting Bad her, like although you're saying publicity. that you don't like her stuff, it's still making people like, okay, well, who is this Cardi B person? Why people don't like her? Is her right. music that bad? Let me see what's going on. So it's like, that's when it's kind of like, you know, all publicity is good publicity in the sense that either way, if you're talking about me for the good or for the bad, you're still making people pay attention to me. You know, so it's up to them if they think it's for good or for bad, but you're still making people pay attention to them by still voicing like, oh, this person music is so bad. Like you put all that energy in saying why somebody is so bad. If you really want to support somebody that's not talking about that, support them. Get the oh, artists yeah. that you want, promote them and, and talk about them on social media and the good albums they, they have or good singles and stuff like that. But people are not going to do that because again, like Cardi B said, that's not what people want. Like it's they want, people want explicit stuff. There's so right. many dope artists out there, man, that 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 still live in, in shabby apartments and ain't being taken care of. And mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's just a simple fact of like, dude, like if that's what you want, just go listen to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I understand mainstream is mainstream, dude. They're gonna get to you first. Right. But like me, who happens to love conscious music, I went and I dug for it. I went and I looked for it. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty, yeah. there's plenty of ways to do that. Do you listen to Chicken? Of- Yes, I love chicken. Oh my gosh, she is Grammy yes. nominated. Like, oh my gosh, that's my the girl. Grammy's like, tonight, ain't it? Yeah, I think so. It's yeah. going on right now. Yeah, she is. She is dope. I just, I literally just, and I know we're getting off on a tangent. I literally just found out about um, y'all need to go and listen to Dinner Party by Robert. I can't pronounce his last name, like Robert Glassman or something like that. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. They, these niggas Dinner use party. my language. Yeah. It is that music is so fire. The, it's a um yeah, it's like a group of four. Like I don't oh. know if y'all can. Oh yeah, I ain't gonna be able to see it. But um, but um, like literally, like these dudes are so dope, and you will never hear about them because they're not mainstream. Yeah, but yeah, you know what I'm saying I just like Chica. Like I really like tap them. Chica with her is because, dope. She is yeah, dope. she is really like dope. Dinner D I N N E R party. Like yes, we're going to a dinner party. That's the name of the group. I don't think I think that might be the name oh, of the album. Yeah, that's the name of the album. Okay. Yeah. The look at but my favorite because they have two. They have dinner party and then they have dinner party dessert, which is the exact same songs, but it's featuring artists. Okay. Uh, but you just gotta you just gotta just, check it out, man. It's I just so put it on my dope. watch list to uh to watch later. It's All so right, dope. so let's wrap up that one. So the question was uh should cartoon counts characters be canceled uh i think we all agree no no that's all you got to do is rewrite yeah uh <laughs> we, we have an issue with cancel culture period um i think to narrow it down basically um individually because canceling somebody is messing with their livelihood so therefore uh you don't have to start a petition or go on a, a tangent about it or you know like what Daniel was saying, once you start talking about it publicly, you're actually putting more revenue in their pockets, you know? Bad so is good so do your part. I can good. say this, do your part individually because certain things that I don't like or support, I always say, I ain't clicking on that shit. Like, I, like that's my that's my thought process. I'm not clicking on that shit. So um, that's how we feel about it. It's yeah. just like going to a restaurant you don't like. Don't go to the restaurant. Don't give them your money. Or even if you do go to the restaurant, you be like, I'm not ordering that. I already had it. I don't like it. You right. Know? Right. Um, so I uh topic number four, uh, 